in today's show, after a $17,150 price level turns into support, Bitcoin could surge towards a $20,000 all-time high. As Josh Rager points out, keep an eye on these key Bitcoin price levels on the daily and weekly from 2017 to 2018 highs. They could likely reject before moving higher, but after $17,149, there isn't a lot standing in the way before $19,000 plus. That's right, and as Tyler Winklevoss points out, I do think we'll see an all-time high price for Bitcoin coin before 2020 is over. I'll be breaking this down for you in today's show. Also in today's episode, Max Kaiser just tweeted, before the 2024 U.S. presidential election, number one, Bitcoin will be worth trillions, referring to the market cap. Number two, Bitcoin will become a world reserve currency. Number three, countries locked in hash war. Number four, most banks will be gone, replaced with central bank crypto. And number five, combined political power, Bitcoin billionaires will dominate policy. We'll be discussing this in today's show. And earlier this year, Max Kaiser predicted a $400,000 Bitcoin price on the Alex Jones show when Jones compared Bitcoin to the power of fire from the gods. That's right. He shares, I'm raising my official target for the first time in eight years. Kaiser told Jones in a February 17th video interview, I'm raising it to $400,000. Then just last month, Kaiser said, Warren Buffett will see his wealth hyperinflate while the Bitcoin price does 40 to 80x. And an 80x Bitcoin price from the time of this prediction would put the Bitcoin price at about $880,000. We also have some more bullishness. Obi-Wan just tweeted, Bitcoin 20K is imminent. 250,000 is in range. Long term, 1 million has been normalized. 10 million is the dream. But in time, you'll understand Bitcoin begins at $100 million. Very few understand this. Also in today's episode, stealth phase over. Why Wall Street FOMO will make $20,000 Bitcoin look cheap. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and most of the major altcoins are back in the red and correcting. But where's the Bitcoin price likely to go from here? Find out all this plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. So be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right. And turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts. We just crossed 18,000 subscribers today. So I want to say I greatly appreciate your support. I'm here for you every single day, regardless what's going on in the market. And I'm going to be here for a long time. And before I kick off today's show, if you missed this live event with Tika Tawari entitled The Crypto Catch-Up, your last chance to get the life that you want, you can still catch the replay for a limited time by clicking the link right below this video in the description. It'll take you here. Simply enter your best email address and it will redirect you to the limited time replay. Be sure to check it out. He does reveal his number one pick for this year. Absolutely free just for attending. All right. Welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV, and let's kick it off by diving into today's top story of the day. Bitcoin could surge towards its $20,000 all-time high. Once 17000 is claimed. That's right. Bitcoin was just at about 16400 before correcting back down to where we're currently at, just above 15700 hundred dollars as you can see right here on your screen now analysts are not yet convinced it's clear skies for bitcoin this comes in spite of some sentiment shared that there is no serious technical resistance from here until twenty thousand dollars that's right as max kaiser pointed out there's nothing but thin air between sixteen thousand and twenty thousand dollars so it doesn't have to be long before we reclaim that 20k all-time high bitcoin currently trades below a number of important daily levels that acted as support and resistance during the 2017 and early 2018 rally Crypto asset analyst Josh Schrager recently shared the following two charts, which I'm about to share with you. One of them is Bitcoin's one day chart from late 2017 and early 2018, and the other is Bitcoin's daily chart over the past few weeks. The chart depicted on the left shows that Bitcoin interacted with three levels on multiple occasions during the rally of late 2017 and early 2018. The levels were 16,173, 16,600, and 17,150. And the chart on the right shows that Bitcoin's currently approaching these technical levels, considering their historical importance. There is a high likelihood they will act as resistance for Bitcoin moving forward. As Rager explains right here in this tweet, keep an eye on these key Bitcoin price levels, the daily and weekly from the 2017 slash 2018 highs. They could likely reject before moving higher. But after $17,149, there isn't a lot standing in the way before $19,000 plus Bitcoin, as we can see right here. 
on your screen. Now, many analysts are extremely bullish on Bitcoin as they should be. I've been predicting a Bitcoin all-time high here in the fourth quarter of 2020, literally all year. And you know that if you've been watching the show. Now, we also have the Winklevoss twins, Tyler Winklevoss, the CEO of Gemini and Bitcoin billionaire, along with his twin brother, Cameron, who recently stated, I do think we'll see an all-time high price for Bitcoin before 2020 is over, even though the price has climbed from 10,000 to almost 14,000 in less than a month. It hasn't really gone on a breakout run yet. When we start to see three to $5,000 surges, then the bulls will be on the run. Touche. Winklevoss was recently quoted as saying that Bitcoin could hit $500,000 in the years ahead. Such a rally would give Bitcoin a higher market cap than gold has today. He thinks that Bitcoin will achieve such a rally due to the immense buying pressure that will take place due to the monetary inflation. The Winklevoss twins added that Bitcoin is fundamentally better than the leading precious metal, which should aid a rally. In fact, they're on record saying that Bitcoin is a better version of gold than gold itself. Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments right down below. Now let's check out this poll I recently shared on crypto Twitter. I asked, when will Bitcoin smash its $20,000 all-time high? And 44% of you put December, 30% put November this month, 17% said January, and 8% of you said February. If you haven't casted your vote, be sure to do so here on crypto Twitter. All right, and before I break down these bullish price predictions from Max Kaiser, first let's take a look at the overall crypto market. Yesterday, Bitcoin touched about 16,400 before consolidating this morning currently down 2.3%, trading just above $15,750. We have Ethereum down 2.2%, trading just below 460 bucks. XRP, one of the few altcoins actually in the green today, up 3.6%, trading just below 27 cents. We have Miss Litecoin, which surged like a mofo yesterday, about 11%, down 4% today, trading just above 63 bucks. We have Chainlink down 2%, trading at $12.55. So as you can see, most of the major altcoins are back in the red. Now, I'd love to see the Bitcoin price retest that critical 16,000 resistance and flip it into support. I feel once we can do that, we can regain that $20,000 all-time high just like that, reaching price discovery mode once again. And who knows, we may climb on up to 28,000 before witnessing any serious pullback as Max Kaiser predicts. And talking about Max Kaiser, he recently tweeted, before the 2024 US presidential election, number one, Bitcoin will be worth trillions, referring to the market cap. Number two, Bitcoin will become a world reserve currency. Number three, countries locked in a hash war. Number four, most banks will be gone, replaced with central bank crypto. And number five, combined political power, Bitcoin billionaires will dominate policy. Now, there's a lot to digest right here in this tweet. Much respect and shout out to Max Kaiser and Stacey Herbert of the Kaiser Report. They've been telling people to buy Bitcoin since 2011, back when Bitcoin was trading at only a dollar. Now, I had to ask the million dollar question right here. By the time Bitcoin becomes a world reserve currency, what will be the price of one Bitcoin? Good question, right? Because if the dollar collapses and fiat becomes virtually worthless, then Bitcoin is not a good comparison in terms of US dollars, right? So answering this question, we had some people respond, $100 million right here. This person says it's irrelevant. Good response. Neil says has to be priced in something gold. I think that is a better comparison as well. We need to start valuating Bitcoin in terms of gold versus the dollar, right? Joe Gee wrote 200 million, but that will get you a loaf of bread. He makes a great point because the dollar may be worthless. This person put one Bitcoin. That's a great answer as well as one Bitcoin will definitely be worth one Bitcoin, better known as 100 million Satoshis, right? Beth wrote 100 million Satoshis. That's accurate. Alex wrote, it'll be priced in something different than dollars. Dollars are worthless. Maybe something like 250 ounces of gold equals one Bitcoin or a silver to Bitcoin ratio. And my favorite response right here from Twin Town, it'll be worth one Bitcoin. Touche. And earlier this year, Max Kaiser predicted a $400,000 Bitcoin price on the Alex Jones show when Jones compared Bitcoin to the power of fire from the gods. And Alex Jones went on to share things like Bitcoin. It's just like the power of fire, not just being with the gods, but being given to Prometheus. It's unconfiscatable. Kaiser affirmed while in the Greek myth, Prometheus was actually a Titan who stole fire from the gods to give it to humans. Jones point is still perfectly clear. Satoshi stole economic sovereignty from the elite classes. Central Bank 
banks and regulators and gave that possibility to everyone via Bitcoin. Now, this was a pretty epic interview between Max Kaiser and Alex Jones. If you missed it, be sure to check it out. Now, let's fast forward to about a month ago. Kaiser shared Warren Buffett will see his wealth hyperinflate while the Bitcoin price does 40 to 80x. Now, I ran the math. If we 40x from the time he made this Bitcoin price prediction, that would put the Bitcoin price at about 440,000 and to 80x from the time he made this prediction, that would put the Bitcoin price at about $880,000 per BTC. Max shared his intermediate price target for Bitcoin at $28,000 per coin. And he goes on to share, when this happens, we'll see something quite unexpected. The retail market for Bitcoin will dry up. The amount of Bitcoin for sale at any price will be increasingly tiny, which is precisely what we're witnessing right now. Institutions, corporations, and governments will be buying Bitcoin directly from miners, presumably at a huge premium. And he goes on to share, people like Warren Buffett will suffer and start panic buying Bitcoin when the asset price jumps to $50,000 per BTC and they will see their wealth hyperinflate into nothing. That's right. You got to love it. Let me know if you agree or disagree with Max Kaiser and his bullish price predictions. And before I break down this next bullish price prediction from Obi-Wan, as well as this final story entitled Stealth Phase Over, why Wall Street FOMO will make a $20,000 Bitcoin look cheap. First, let's take a look at the overall crypto market cap sitting at $456 billion with $115 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. And current Bitcoin dominance is 64.7% according to coin market cap. And now checking out the top gainers within the top 100. We have A, BBC coin up 21%, trading at 27 cents. Sushi swap up 12%, trading at 87 cents. Uniswap up 10%, trading just above $3.60. Thor chain up 5%, trading at 67 cents. And Nexo up about 5%, trading at 20 cents. And now checking out the biggest losers within the top 100. We have reserve rights down 8%, trading at 1.5 cents. Yearn finance down 6%, trading just above 16,500. Band Protocol down 5%, trading at $5.58, and Block Stack down 5%, trading just above 24 cents. Now, out of this list of the biggest gainers and losers, which altcoins in particular are you most bullish on? Drop me a comment right down below. And now, checking out the Binance margins, we can see the bears are in control, leading with 51% shorts versus about 49% longs. Are you currently bullish or bearish on the king of all crypto? Holla at your boy. And now, checking out one of my favorite indicators is the Crypto Greed and fear index shows we're currently rated a 90 in extreme greed yesterday in 89 in extreme greed last week in 88 in extreme greed and last month of 56 in greed and if you're not familiar with the crypto greed and fear index extreme fear can be a sign investors are too worried that can be a great buying opportunity aka btfd buy that freaking dip and when investors are getting too greedy like we're witnessing right now that means the market is due for a correction. All right, now let's check out this Bitcoin price prediction from Obi-Wan Kenobi. Bitcoin 20K is imminent, 250,000 is in range, long-term 1 million has been normalized, 10 million is the dream, but in time you'll understand Bitcoin begins at $100 million. Let me know if you agree with Obi-Wan. All I know is this, Jedis don't lie. So there you have it. I like that, especially when it says Bitcoin begins at $100 million. You can't get much more bullish than that. And before I break down our final story of the day, stealth phase over, why Wall Street FOMO will make a $20,000 Bitcoin look cheap. First, I want to remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the market. This goes for all 600 videos right here on my YouTube channel. Also, some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including the blog to my podcast, which could be found at CryptoNewsYes.com. Also, be sure to smash that subscribe button right below this video to help support the YouTube channel. If you're listening on a different platform outside of YouTube, the direct YouTube link is CryptoNewsAlerts.net. You can also find us on all the major podcasts and platforms from Spotify, the home of the Joe Rogan X, experience to Apple's iTunes. You can also follow me on Twitter to receive daily crypto news alerts. My Twitter handle is crypto news. Yes. And for those of you active on Facebook, I do have a private crypto Facebook group entitled crypto alchemy to join it. Click this link, request to join. I'll be sure to plug you in. And for those of you active on Telegram, I do have a private crypto Telegram chat to join it. Click this link. You'll automatically be added. And I'm looking forward to connecting with you personally on the inside. All right, now let's break down our final story of the day. The year 2020 sucked for pretty much everyone. Unless Unless you're holding Bitcoin, that is, didn't suck for me. I hope it didn't suck for you either. The price of Bitcoin is up 125% year to date, making it once again the best performing asset, just as it has been for the past decade. Now, strangely enough, the public seems completely oblivious to the 
this fact, but not everyone is ignoring Bitcoin's latest rally above 16K. Currently, the price is just 20% shy of its all-time high. Now, considering the impressive year Bitcoin is having, it's not surprising that Wall Street is now starting to realize that the world's first decentralized crypto isn't going anywhere. That's right. Remember 2017, that historic Bitcoin price rally was largely driven by retail traders, you know, the average Joe, who are anticipating a Wall Street stampede alongside a frenzy of new tokens minted via initial coin offerings. But at that same time, the CME introduced their cash settled Bitcoin futures right at the peak in December of 2017 and pop just like that. Bitcoin price dropped sharply in the following months and the hype fizzled into a multi-year bear market. We've had a very cold crypto winter to say the least. Obituaries from the news media made the average Joe eat the loss and many wrote Bitcoin off as just another bubble that burst. Now Google searches for Bitcoin pretty much tell the whole story. As you can see right here in the peak of 2017, they were at an all-time high, but compared to now, they're virtually non-existent. But in 2020, the public searches for Bitcoin no longer reflect Bitcoin as its price Price had decoupled, which is definitely a bullish sign. Now, what's even more interesting is that Wall Street still remains largely on the sidelines, suggesting that Bitcoin may even be undervalued at 16,000 with a market cap of 297 billion. However, the latest data suggests that this is already beginning to change. Wall Street is not here yet, Gemini Exchange co founder Cameron Winklevoss explained last month in this tweet. Institutions aren't in Bitcoin right now. It's been a retail phenomenon for the last decade. So, Wall Street talks about it. They're aware of Bitcoin, but they're not really in it from our perspective. But it's starting to happen. Now, wealthy zip codes in New York and Silicon Valley drive the Bitcoin price. It's mainly wealthy areas in New York and Silicon Valley, home to many high net worth individuals that are most interested in Bitcoin right now. But while the public is largely unaware, several wealthy investors are heralding Bitcoin as the new asset class, such as Paul Tudor Jones, Michael Saylor, and Stanley Druckenmiller have made the waves in 2020, revealing their position in Bitcoin. Do they realize something that the public did not in 2017? Was the average Joe simply too early? then? Jones said investing in Bitcoin is like investing early in Apple stock. Saylor stated that his company MicroStrategy, which bought up a total of $425 million worth of Bitcoin, will hold it for 100 years, calling it the world's best collateral. Meanwhile, Drucken Miller, the largest big name Bitcoin convert, now argues that if the gold bet works, the Bitcoin bet will probably work better. Ain't telling no lies. Now, together, these smart money investors are beginning to realize one thing. As Tyler Winklevoss put it, Bitcoin is better at being gold than gold. Touche. Gold is up just 23% in 2020 during a year of global economic upheaval, which is when the safe haven metal was supposed to shine, pun intended. But Bitcoin or digital gold has been stealing the show by gaining 125% year to date and up almost 300% from its coronavirus crash lows in March. What's more, Bitcoin's market cap is just 2.3% of golds, which some long-term investors see as the best asymmetric risk reward ratio bet in history. And individuals who bought Bitcoin 10 or even five years ago would most likely agree. Now, could this be the end of Bitcoin's stealth phase? With its fixed supply, Bitcoin's becoming particularly attractive as a hedge against inflation, which is all but guaranteed by the United States Federal Reserve. But unlike gold, Bitcoin is absolutely scarce. Its supply is mathematically fixed and cannot be changed by any authority. What's more, the rate at which new Bitcoin is mined is reduced by 50% every four years as a result of the halving, which analysts argue is one of the biggest catalysts for new bull market cycles. That's a fact. This event is called the halving, with the last one occurring in May of 2020. Now, crypto trader Michael Van Day Pop believes that the Bitcoin market is now exiting the stealth phase and entering the awareness phase. No longer is Bitcoin just digital money for buying drugs on the dark web. He goes on to share with Stan Druckenmiller, Michael Saylor, and more listed companies jumping into the Bitcoin markets. It's quite clear that we're at the early stages of a new bull cycle. I couldn't agree more. Let me know your thoughts in the comments right down below. Bitcoin is a small club and you can be in it. In addition to the having the aforementioned investors have also noticed that Bitcoin fundamentals, network activity, and on-ramp infrastructure, such as Cash App, PayPal, etc., have all significantly improved since 2017. So it's not surprising that this emergent asset class is starting to look like a no-brainer bet to smart money. Other investors will also eventually realize that a small allocation of capital into Bitcoin significantly boosts portfolio returns. Last month, the co-founder of 10T Holdings, Dan Tapero, noted only 3% Bitcoin position in the past five years would have increased performance of a 60-40 portfolio from 6.8% to 10.2%. And despite already existing for nearly 12 years, Bitcoin is only now starting to be noticed and taken serious by serious investors. And at the same time, it maintains the lowest barrier to entry for anyone else compared 
compared to traditional finance. This is precisely why Bitcoin still presents a unique opportunity for the average Joe to acquire Bitcoin now at lower prices than what Wall Street will pay for later. That's a fact. Now is a great time to accumulate. If you're to ask me, Bitcoin is on sale. All right, now for a quick recap of what I covered with you right here in today's show. After 17,150 level turns into support, Bitcoin could surge towards a $20,000 all-time high. As Josh Rager points out right here, after 17,149, there isn't a lot standing in the way before a $19,000 plus Bitcoin. I also shared the latest from Max Kaiser. Before 2024 US presidential election, he predicts Bitcoin will be worth trillions. Bitcoin will become a world reserve currency. Countries will lock in a hash war. Most banks will be gone, replaced with central bank crypto and combined political power of Bitcoin billionaires will dominate policy. Also shared his prediction he shared earlier this year on the Alex Jones show, predicting a $400,000 Bitcoin price. Then last month he shared Warren Buffett will see his wealth hyperinflate while the Bitcoin price does 40 to 80x. And again, 80x will put the Bitcoin price at approximately $880,000 from the time he made this prediction. Also shared the latest from Obi-Wan who wrote, Bitcoin 20K is imminent, 250,000 is in range. Long-term 1 million has been normalized. 10 million is the dream. But in time you'll understand Bitcoin begins at 100 100 million. Also shared with you the stealth phase. Could it be over? And why Wall Street FOMO will make a $20,000 Bitcoin look cheap. So where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go next? Drop me a comment right down below. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto matrix. If you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right. And turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, including weekends just like this. And real quick before I go, if you missed this live event with Tika Tuari entitled The Crypto Catch-Up, your last chance to get the life that you want, you can still catch the replay for a limited time by clicking the link in the description. It'll take you here. Simply enter your best email and it will redirect you to the limited time replay. Tika does share his number one pick absolutely free during this live broadcast. So be sure to check out the replay and I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.